They were playing Bucket of Doom. Doom! Doom! You're on a walking safari. Arrgh! A will to be stampede! coming at me, look like I got a tub of lard. I look like I'm gonna have to dive in it, jump out. I jump up in the air. I'm gonna cross the wilderness, beast, sliding across and killing it, slipping through him. Huh, huh, y'all can't even. I kinda wanna see that happen. It's like Lion King the it's musical. True. Sup, suckers. Today we're playing Bucket of Doom. Doom! Doom! This is pretty cool because like. we played it on Sleepover with bows and flits. Mm -hmm. We did play this game. I love and this game. Really, Bose was really good at it. Oh my god, thank you so much. You were really good too. No, you Bose beat me crushed. pretty hard. Stop huh. being nice. It yes. was vicious. Yeah, we gotta get competitive. I know I've never played this game before, but I think how it works is we're all gonna get eight cards. Yeah. We got we got two objects on either side of the card. Killing and it. we're gonna we're gonna select one of these objects and use it <laughs> to get out of a very deadly scenario. A deadly Terrifying. scenario. Yes. Deadly, a doom-filled so scenario. After every turn, we all pick our item, we all we all explain how we're gonna get out of it, and at the end of the turn, we all vote for who we think would most likely get out of it. You can't vote for yourself. Democracy! Well, I'm just gonna vote for myself. Okay. Do can't do that, Bose. Yeah, well, for the rules. Never tell a black woman what she can't do. Olivia, yeah, do you wanna... <laughs> he knows Almost that. very well, actually. Keep black <laughs> Hi, babe, I'll be home at eight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, would you like to select our first Doom scenario? No. Doom Mario? Sure. So you're gonna die. Sure, I will. All right, here we go. And boom. You're having dinner with your date's parents for the first time. You feel a hand rubbing your private parts. You oh. look up, and their dad winks. Uh oh. How is this a death oh, no. scenario? It's just a oh, That's, I boy, I don't know. I mean, it's like emotionally deathly. That's, that's tough. Got it. Done. I didn't. T I didn't let people know that I had some snow today. Tell your story. You had some snow. Yeah, yeah I, I ate, ate it. it. Yep, I ate Guys, some time snow. out. I want to see where this is going. Well, I saw some fluffy, clean snow on the ground. I regret this decision. <laughs> All right. You're I, I <laughs> ate it. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to give him a foot long hot dog. Nice. Because He's it's, a, you a it's definitely a phallic symbol. And I can, you know, play along with him, but not really, but also trick him to think that I have a penis. Wait, how big is this hot dog? A foot long. Oh, yeah. That's, that changes things. changes things. <laughs> I might throw him off and he'd be like, ooh, I must stop doing this. Like she is. Yeah, like he's in Shakespeare. Yes. <laughs> Shoot. I... Oh, I must stop. Then, or he might be like, wow, it's a foot long hot dog. And he might like it. And that might throw him off. Wait, no, right. that would what make if... him continue. Yeah, that would make yeah, him continue. Yeah, what if you just continue. had you not said that, we would have been on your side. But now you just. Okay, I didn't say anything. Yourself. I didn't say anything. Well, you said it. What if he just sensually licks the hot dog? What are you Yo, oh, it's not, man. the thing is, the hot dog is just an object. It's not a part of my body. Okay, moving on, laser corn. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I got a pack of XXL condoms. Oh. For my maximum Man, dog. you're supposed to get out of the situation. Why are you guys, why are you guys encouraging him? You didn't let me tell you how I was gonna use it, so I just whip out the pack of condoms and I mic drop it, I'm like, these are what I use to your daughter, <laughs> I want you back up off me because I'm straight. And even if I wasn't, couldn't handle this magic dong. <laughs> Way too aggressive. He's gonna back right up. Holy crap. Yeah. Anyway, that, that's my strategy. Shane, what uh, you got? I don't understand why you guys are using these phallic objects in order to deter this them. I, this is what I put on my It, it seems yeah. strange. Uh, so that's why I'm using my blue whale scrotum. Uh, <laughs> because look, foot long, maybe he can handle it. XXXL condoms, maybe he can handle it. Blue whale scrotum, I believe it's in the ballpark of like 15 feet, <laughs> something along that range. So, for starters, everyone's gonna see it, okay? So, he's not gonna know where to start or where to end, whatever. I think it's gonna be way too much for him. Uh, I think he's gonna be very intimidated. I think if anything, he'll give a very audible, ha! Ah! And everybody's gonna be like, everybody's gonna look and be like, what's up? And I'm gonna be like, Hur! And then I'll be like, oh no, and then I'll break the table. I'll be out of that situation very easily. What about your girl? What about my girl? Yeah, she might be frightened and leave you. I don't think so. <laughs> Shane's girl loves blue whale scrotum. Oh, yeah. My, my girl is yeah. blue whale scrotum. Thank you so much, Shane. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? 
Welcome Thank to Late so much, Night Jake. News. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm here to win. Okay. So go ahead and put okay. that on the table. Right. I don't know what y'all picked, but y'all all have the same concept. Creep them out with your big dick. Actually, yours is No, 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 I didn't say creep them out. He could eat it, too. <laughs> so you want him to eat your big See, Olivia well, seems to be encouraging okay. you. Okay, know. actually, uh, you, are, you, uh, you don't know. This dad might like whale scrotum. I well, also just mentioned how I was his daughter. So that, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a big one. Well, I mean. I mean, that should be Arguably, I could say the same thing. I could be like, <laughs> I'm <laughs> your daughter with this. <laughs> Um, for mine, I am going to use, I'm gonna reach in my purse and I'm gonna grab my little, my fake poop. Fake poop and drop it behind me. He might be into dicks, but guess what he's not into? Poop. I'm gonna make him think I s on myself. I don't know. I think there's Now you know he's not into, into poop that. because yeah, some there is, is. there's something as a scat fetish. Y'all are y'all are getting like real weird with it. Like, I bet you nobody in this room Yo, is into that. He's reaching under the table and winking at you though. Yeah. You like graze a little bit of like Look. poop. And it, like, it's going to be moist. It's fake yeah, poop, it's, it's fake. not moist. It doesn't even smell. Y'all don't know what I do with my fake poop. <laughs> Wait, mm, yeah. yeah, I don't know that's, about that's good. that one. Wes, well, you gotta top turn? that. All right, I'm gonna top that with my home pregnancy test. I'm gonna go, oh, oh uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, you know, I'm sorry, uh, your daughter's pregnant. I'm just gonna get up and leave. That doesn't what? add up. <laughs> what? You're, you're saying pregnant. you have a home pregnancy test, but you're just telling him his daughter's pregnant. Are you showing the pregnancy test? Yes, I'm going to bring out the pregnancy test. I'm so, going to get in front of them. So let's establish you have to get your date pregnant first. No, no, the date's already pregnant. That's what yeah. you're saying. Okay, so she's already pregnant. She's very much already pregnant. pregnant. It's not on the car drop, but it news. says home pregnancy test. I mean, yeah, if she's pregnant, and that's when okay. you show it to him, I guess. It was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> yeah, okay, I see. Because yeah, they're walked out having a family dinner. Yeah, yeah what's the walk You walked out, out on you your walk... pregnant date? Then you just dip. No. Child support, mother. You're a bad dad. I kind of was on your side at first, Wes, until you said the walking out part, and now I well, question you as a person. Our table. I'm at least getting up from the table and walking a, like a couple steps away. You're I'm literally like, I got you pregnant, bye! Yeah, and yeah, leave. Like, Smoke bomb! Like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they see a grappling okay. hook fly up and you just shoot through the ceiling. I don't, I don't want to like tear you down like we're homies, but like her dad's gonna f*** you, dude. <laughs> I mean, like um, that's not gonna work. He might be into that too. Uh, Alright, so where are we at? We at dinner? Yeah. Sitting yeah. down, eating. Mm -hmm. And her Rubbing dad. Rubbing on my leg. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, and I look up, he wink at me. Sir, sir, please, I love your daughter very much. And in exchange for my booty hole, please take this scarf knitted by my grandmother. Huh? Okay. You need to understand okay. there's an equivalent exchange, and I've had this in my <laughs> entire life, as long as I've had my booty hole. And there are things I am willing to give up, and there are things I am not, and I am not willing to give up the booty hole, but... This scarf is yours. So you're this giving is an interesting play. You're giving him His a grandma knits a, knits a mean scarf. Upon the scarf, does it read, please That is Most of your grandma's scarves do say. Your grandma was giving a message to everybody for like decades. Oh, I knit you this sweater. Oh! It could backfire. Half of her scarves say, please me. The other half says, don't make me get my nine. So it could go either way. <laughs> it could go either way. I feel like you're also encouraging the dad. No, I am not encouraging it. I'm encouraging, I'm, I'm building a bond and I am respectfully declining in that exchange ain't work, for dude. This you is, don't know him. This is the corner, y'all about to get some <laughs> I'm sorry, Flay, it's 110% will not work. Oh, what, it won't hot dog lady? Quick recap. Uh, We've got the foot long. We've got a pack of condoms. We've got a blue whale scrotum. We've got, uh, what was yours again? It's a hot dog. It's a hot dog. Fake poop. We've got pregnancy test. And we've got grandma's scarf. It can be real food. All right. Uh, <laughs> Olivia, your turn to vote first. All right. I'm going to vote for Wes. Yay! Because, OK, listen. <laughs> it just sounds like, hey, we're going to have dinner. We're going to surprise my parents with the pregnancy test. Um, we get it. Laser corn. <laughs> I got I gotta give it to you, Shane. I feel oh, like right? no! I feel like <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like full long hot dog, that's one thing, but a blue whale scrotum is gonna derail any sexual advance. <laughs> no, There's but... no way you just keep playing footsie through that. Where was he sorry. keeping it the whole entire night? That's I mean, that's my that's, business. Yeah, where were you keeping the, <laughs> where were you keeping the hot dog? Look, it's like, yeah, it doesn't matter. I don't know, it's my freaking purse. 
That's not how we play the Maybe. game. Maybe. I'm gonna have to go with Laser Corn, not because you voted with me, That's because... Uh, oh, because of the HJ. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Uh, because I think just establishing that you are having sex with his daughter, he's like, okay, he's not into me. He's he, he's definitely in love. It was a test, you know, and you pass. Oh, thank you, sir. I have a vote. I'm gonna keep it right here. I just, I don't know. I'm gonna vote for me. No. Um. Oh, wow. No, 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 no. Uh, my vote is for Laser Olivia. I'm just kidding. It's for Laser Oh, Lord. Because, like, dude, it's mostly the whole, like, you know, saying that you said he was gonna throw the condoms on the table and be like, I'm f***ing your daughter. You're not gonna like get f***ed up, dog, but like, you're not gonna get up, you know what I mean? I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I have to give this one to Shane. I mean, nothing, not, Blaze Corn said it the best. There's nothing that's deal, derailing that situation better than a, just a 15 foot long penis on the table. Scrotum. Scrotum. Mm -hmm. Same thing. I have to go with Laser Corn. Oh, because, oh, honestly, that's, that's what I would do. That's like, that's what I would do. I would like, you need to, that's what I would really, really do. I went with the respect route, but you wasn't listening, so now I gotta slam the magnums, and I might have to slam in the face a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Blitz. It looks like I want the black boat. <laughs> Oh my god! He did not! Oh my it god! Okay, but it helped me! And I was part of it! Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh. Put yours in the discard pile that you just used, and then. Okay, next scenario. Yes, sir. You're on a walking safari. Are A wildebeest stampede. Oh, I won. One, two, three. <laughs> Are we ready? Has everyone selected a card? Yeah. Yes. I see the wildebeest coming, uh -huh. but luckily, I have a tortoise shell big enough for a human. Ooh. That's right. Teenage mutant ninja laser coin, except I'm 32. And so I just <laughs> squeeze down yeah. into that tortoise shell, and I'm gonna wait this baby out. Tortoise shell comes up, they're gonna trample around me. They might knock me around a little, I might get a little rattled. I might suffer a little head bouncing trauma. But at the end, I'm gonna survive this wildebeest sh stampede, and I'm gonna walk away. And I'm gonna have a cool Michelangelo cosplay, too. Crap, I yeah, got nothing one. against that one. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. That's you good. You can't clap for yourself, put your hands down. <laughs> all, right, all, right. all right, wildebeest stampede coming straight for me. Yep. I'm gonna use a taxidermy animal, and that animal Whoa. is a lioness, the main hunter of wildebeest. They see that, they're gonna split apart. That's what they do, they're running from lionesses. Ah, uh, if wildebeest have their young with them, they might go straight for that wildebeest. No. When their young are in danger, they charge. attack. Not they lionesses. Not, yeah, not yeah, lionesses. No, they stop. On that line I watch way too many just No, uh, if you've watched Keith, at, bro, uh, wait, wait, can we bring our National Geographic <laughs> at, bro, expert Keith? Uh, do do wildebeest charge at lionesses? Yes, they do. Yeah. 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 You're in the past. You're in the past. They will destroy you. I love you, dog, but I'm telling you, like if they're in danger, they will f them. Up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sounds like an expert. You lost, bro. He sounds like an expert. We lost, bro. Moving on. The wildebeest are coming. I've got a traffic cone, small compact traffic cone that I will take out of my pocket, drop it, and I will say, stop. Like you're one of the toys from Toy Story 2. Dude, I'm just, <laughs> just gonna... move it along. Dude, yeah, they, yeah. They're... You are arguably the only person at the table small enough to fit in one. Yeah. So. <laughs> fit in what? A traffic cone. She's Basically. using the traffic you're cone. You're just no, putting it in front of you. I'm, I'm placing. Oh, the like wildebeest cone. have gone to traffic school. Have this you... is a real Bugs Bunny, Looney Tunes movie. Yeah. yeah. No, sure. I think they they're gonna stop like, Oh, like, well, like, gotta go like, around. Like, go no, they would straight. stop. No, they would. I think they're the, wild are animals. Are you a wildebeest? Do you have any wildebeest You don't know friends? my past. I think they're like, I don't know if I got a traffic cone or a taxidermy animal, animal but I do have a what? Animal. All right. Uh, but I do have a ukulele, and I will lull those wildebeest into relaxing, and they won't charge anymore. I'll be playing them a nice You gotta be careful though. I'll pitch, and you'll speed them up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, what song are you playing? Yeah, yeah. what song are you playing? Five, four, three, two, dead. Journey. By journey. journey. All of Journey. Yep. Ukulele Journey. Yep. <laughs> Dude. 
just a small town girl. Flips, what do you got over there, buddy? <laughs> All right, so wait, where am I on the safari? Yeah, what? A whole bunch of wildebeest coming at me. What must I do? Look like I got a tub of lard. I look like I'm gonna have to dive in it, jump out. What you coming at, wildebeest? I jump up in the air, a la Tarzan from Disney. I'm across the wildebeest, sliding across and killing it. Boom, 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 they ain't even touching me. And even if I come down, I'm slipping through them. Huh, huh, y'all can't even slide in the okay. lap, slide. And then by the end of it, bam. Stampede passed me, I'm good. You are definitely the only person at this table I can legitimately Sorry, what was your answer? Yeah, what was your answer? Oh, yeah. yeah. oh, a tub of lard? Oh, a tub of lard. So, so he's lard. greasing himself up. Okay. He's gonna grease himself up and break dance around the Stampede house. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, let's vote. In this, in this scenario, Olivia has died, right? <laughs> She's already haunted. Wait, hold on, what? <laughs> I'm saying the scenario, I'm a dead person, but I'm haunting the earth. Okay. I'm basically a ghost. Uh, okay. So I whip out my haunted oven. All right, yeah. I'm like in my haunted oven and I can escape my haunted oven. And like, I'm like being all creepy and stuff. They're like, you know, coming towards me, but I'm a haunted, I'm in this haunted oven. And like, I open this you oven. Got the oh, well, you're dead. Okay. Yeah, I could be anywhere. So I open this haunted oven and like, these spirits come out and they're just freaking scared. So they just, what do you do when you're scared? You run. So they just like run past me and I'm in my haunted oven made out of steel. I'm good. We all know wildebeests are scared of the supernatural. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah. That's the show. Um, show supernatural. Yeah. Now for the vote. Uh, Lasercorn, you start. I, th I think purely for the spectacle and because I want to see a, a greased up flint <laughs> attempt to break dance his way out of a, a, a horde of wildebeests. <laughs> Who doesn't want to see that? He's just trying to keep down the and he break dance his way. <laughs> Olivia. I could have voted for you, but you said you're already dead. Yeah, you lose. The whole point is to survive. Yes. You can't establish being like, oh, I'm dead though. You just said you lost. Hmm? So anyways, I'm gonna go with Flitz because I, if there's anybody on the planet who can break dance around a stampede, it's Flitz. Yeah. And that would be nuts. Like, can you imagine? I can, and I think with a little green screen, we could help the audience. <laughs> oh my god. There were a lot of really good answers, but I'm gonna have to go with probably the traffic cone one. You can't, that's your own. That's yours. Can you not call me out? <laughs> yeah, I will call we just, you out. We just did. It's a competition. Yeah, we did. <laughs> All right. No one else was dumb enough to put a traffic cone. Oh, well, we also Okay, in her defense, we also didn't get that card. I was about to vote for you, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Now I gotta vote. Now I gotta vote for our president of <laughs> Laser Co. I don't know. What was your answer? I, what? It was the tortoise shell. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? That was actually a good yeah. one. Yeah. When I was gonna vote for you, and then you <laughs> up. Thank you, anyway. I'm gonna vote for the you. You're the badass over like a champ. Yeah. Okay, Wes, your vote. Uh, as much as I want to see Flitz breakdance through a horde of wildebeest, I gotta give it to Lasercorn! Giant turtle shell? They're just gonna be like, what the it's hell? It's two to two god, right now. God, he is, Lasercorn is crushing it right yeah. now. Oh my god. Since uh, there is literally nothing at stake, and I'm not much of a cutthroat, I too will go with Lasercorn. <laughs> <gasps> Three, oh, oh, laser card. O Olivia, you have a chance to, to change this. To change this? So it's three to two. Okay, um, mm, don't look at me like that. It's the laser stare. Jesus. I think Vote. we're aware of it. Vote, it's Olivia. Kind of hot. Can make eye contact. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna vote for Flitz because you know what? I kind of want to see that happen. It's like Lion King the musical. <laughs> three to three! We need a tiebreaker. So, because me and Flitz are tied, we will now have a face off. And how we're gonna do this is it's the same scenario, but uh, our item that we used to garner our votes is gone. We must now select a new card, and we'll have five seconds to argue and say why that new card uh, will get us out of the scenario. Five, four, three, two, two one. one. Okay. I chose nipple tassels, because I was short on time, and also, I think maybe I could do a sexy little, I could make him yeah. do the helicopter thing, and then they would be distracted and not want to stampede me. Flitz, what do yeah. you got? Flitz. That's hot. Uh, oh, a bunch of little bees still coming at me? Well, it's a good thing, I must be, I got this Nissan shrimp cup of noodles, I must be in a Final Fantasy 15 universe. That means I got powers. I could deal with this situation, no problem. Official sponsor, Final Fantasy 15, Square Enix, shout out. Uh, so I'm just gonna use my magical powers to spread the wildebeest and they'll go around me. And because I'm like Moses of wildebeest. Okay, let's vote for this 
face off, Olivia. All right, man, I really want to see you in nipple tassels, man. Uh, I, I, it, would be, it would be enticing and alluring. You know, the one thing wildebeest can't handle is nipple tassels. <gasps> I want to see laser corn wearing nipple tassels. <gasps> I'm giving it to Laser Corn. Yes! And he's got the nipple tassels. I'm just imagining it getting locked onto the this. antlers and he starts riding a wildebeest. Like, that's the scenario. That, that that's actually, the, the corn wins again. Bucket of Doom, the bucket is mine! Laser. You win win Bucket wow. of Doom! Bucket of Doom! Oh. All round. Wow. And thank you guys for watching. If there's any other games you want to see us play on board AF, make sure you leave it in the comments. Let us know. We will try and play those games. Also, be sure to watch Winter Games happening all this month on Smosh Second and Smosh Games. Yep. That's right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Click the bell to make sure you don't miss any Smosh Winter Games uploads. We're taking over both Smosh Second and Smosh Games channels for all of February. Be sure to have your notifications turned on because we'll be responding to comments for the first hour of every upload.